installment of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Edition. I'm your host, Seahan, and today we're going to be getting through the Elite, or the Viridian Forest. Now, last time we started out with Charmander. We, or excuse me, we started out with Zuko. We caught um, Jono. We made a Pidgey faint. And we have Joey. So now we're going to traverse through the Viridian Forest and uh, see what lies in store there. I'm going to swap Joey out because he's going to probably die on me, unfortunately. Or she. Spearow is really good early game because you could just peck and flying Pokemon are super effective against bug Pokemon for all those for those of you who aren't super familiar with Pokemon. Boom. I'm going to run back to the uh, I'm running back to the Pokemon Center to heal up and then take on the trainers that lie in wait on unsuspecting trainers. Back through Route 2 to Viridian City. Gonna have a Jono at front just to tank through everything. Get him some XP for future gems. Not wait until you get running shoes. And that's if I beat Brock, which uh, as of right now, it uh, it's it depends. Um, sadly, I cannot catch anything else in this grass, so I'm just gonna clear through it. Swap Jono in. I'm really regretting that I didn't come across a Mankey. That's. Oh, that's gonna make things so, so difficult. goes our first Pokemon battle. Or second, technically. I'm gonna see how this goes because he has a chance of poisoning my Pokemon and I do not need that. Swap in Zuko, just to get extra experience for the battle with Brock. He's gonna be our best bet. One shot.
Alright. Going to put butter at front? No. Yeah, let's go butter. So she can get. Yo! You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Catcher Doug would like to battle a Weedle. Alright, Caterby. Butter versus Weedle. Let's, let's hope he doesn't poison. Oh, that's super effective. No? Okay. Let's try one more time. Swap back in Zuko. One shot. Kakuna will be really easy for experience, so I'm gonna just throw in Caterpie and go from there. Butter, excuse me. It's gonna be almost as long as when the Samurai Bug Catcher, the Samurai Bug Catcher and Ash both use their Metapods and they're just hardening for about 24 hours something like that in the anime. Early game, guys. This this is precisely why I do not want y'all to have to stomach through me having to grind Pokemon levels. It uh, it's not enjoyable to watch. Level six. Nice. All right. In one level, she should evolve into a Metapod. So we're going to go ahead and get that on stream today, and uh, that'd be nice. Okay, let's continue through our... Let's continue through the Viridian Forest. I'm so upset I cannot catch a Pikachu, but Butterfree is a close uh, second. Should be a nice even battle. Just constant stab.
going to heal up real quick. Swap Butter out and then throw in Jono because she's going to be evolving today. Or Zuko. One shot Ember. That's all she wrote. Is evolving. Congratulations, your butter evolved into Metapod. Good job, butter. Front. Nope, that's my train ARD. Normally in a Nuzlocke, the way you can depend, you can um, determine what your starter is going to be is uh, by the last digit in your train ARD. One, two, and three, I believe, is fire uh, or grass. I don't. I don't I'm not 100% sure. 4, 5, and 6. Water. Well, the way I'm going to be doing it is 1, 2, and 3 is grass. 4, 5, and 6 is water. And 7, 8, 9 is fire. And if it's a 0, um, it's free choice. Or it's free of my cho choosing. When I do another uh, Nuzlocke playthrough, I'm going to use that method. I'm gonna have a vote poll to do the ID method vote poll. Easy peasy. We're almost finally out of the Viridian Forest. Um, another wild Pokemon. Let's see what we can come across. And it's a Weedle. Luckily, we got a Caterpie because I personally prefer Butterfree over Beedrill. That was 
literally nothing. This person's going to have a level 9 Weedle, I believe. Boom, right on the money. Alright. Hopefully... Okay. The scariest thing is to have your, any of your Pokemon poison. I jinxed myself entirely on that. I hope I have an antidote. things first. I'm going to antidote John. Nope. Antidote Jono so he does not faint and perish on the way to Pewter City. That is just my luck. Poisoned twice. I, <laughs> I have to immediately get to Pewter City. I can't. I, I'll go heal, then attempt the second uh, area. I gotta hurry. I don't have any potions. Stay with this, Jono. Okay, barely made it. Thank you for for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. All right. So, we've made it through Viridian Forest. Jono got poisoned at least twice. I was expecting him to get poisoned a third time. But now it's time to see what's in this tall grass. Hopefully, uh, I've been told Nidoran Male has a chance to appear here. I'm not sure if that's old gen, gen 1 and 2, or, or I mean not gen 1 and 2, the origin, original versions of Red and Blue. But uh, let's see. Hopefully it's not another Pidgey. That's more than likely the case. Another Rattata. Perfect. So we're gonna make this Rattata faint. Good job, Joey. Going to make this Rattata faint. Cycle through the grass again and see what we find. Another Rattata. This is precisely why I'm glad we caught Rattata at the very beginning of the game, so... And I'm gonna make sure this Rattata stays alive throughout the rest of the game. Alright. Let's try a third time. Yet another duplicate Pokemon, so I'm not 100% sure on what the rule is if it's just constant duplicates. I say maybe five times and then move on. It's an understandable amount. So we're on attempt number three, I believe. Immediate. <sighs> Another Rattata. Gonna try one more time. And if nothing new pops up, then oh well.
Here we go, final time. Let's hope something comes out of this. Another Rotetta. Alright, so this area is off limits for now on. And I will see y'all next time on Seahan's Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke.